hello guys welcome to do it easy guide tutorial today uh, I will discuss with you how to do some demo forex trading if you are new to uh, forex trading so I will show you a very quick and simple uh, way uh, where you can uh, do some practice trading and get to know about the software behind it and uh, how to create a demo account those things will be discussed uh, in this tutorial so if you are new to forex trading if you search online about forex trading so you will see many number of uh, brokers and their websites you may not know uh, which broker to select from where you can begin with so please note that this tutorial is not about recommending a broker or not about uh, recommending which company you should use I am going to just discuss, discuss with you the background about forex trading like how to do it just do a demo trading those things in this tutorial I am gonna uh, go with this company which is uh, RoboForex and uh, you can select any broker if you search internet uh, you can find many number of brokers so in this tutorial I'm not providing any uh, financial uh, advice or investment advice whatsoever as well as I'm not recommending any broker or any company to work with to trade with I'm just going to show you uh, how to do some demo trading so let's start so first thing is you can see many number of trading accounts you can see trading accounts sent ezn prime demo so what we need is we have to create a demo account and these are the platforms metatrader 4 metatrader 5 c trader r trader okay anyway so to start we have to create an account so you, you go to open an account okay now here you need to fill your details so I suggest you fill your actual real detail uh, when you create a forex account don't use dummy or fake details because in future you will be dealing with actual money so you have to give you actual so anyway in this case I'm gonna just go with some dummy details and just give some details so and so please note these are just dummy details sake of this tutorial so you have to check these things so I confirm that I am at least 18 years old uh, which is important you have to be at least 18 years old to do forex trading and other things as well and I click next step okay now you are here and these are your account details so when you know you need to log in to your RoboForex account these are the username password details so let me just save them uh, as well as this is also important your wallet master password keep this one as well saved and so here you need to tell what kind of trading account you are going to need so since now we are going to do some demo trading you check demo then you can select 
these options. So first thing is trading platform. So we're going to go with MT4 and we have three other platforms as well MetaTrader 5 and CTrader, RTrader. So if you like to get to know better about these things you can read this information and account type I'm go I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with demo option MT4 demo and leverage so they are saying you choose 1 to 500 so I'm gonna go with 1 to 500 so just note that when you the higher the leverage you are taking more risk so please uh, you have to know what you are doing but in this case just let's go with 1 to 500 and my start demo money would be 1000 thousand dollars so I click confirm these are the information of your demo account so I'm just gonna save it and if you check if you check here this is your account number this is your demo account password and you need these two in to log in to your MT4 account and this account type is MT4 demo and again here you can see uh, same details you have one demo account and these are the details of this account account type as well as see you have to when you are going to trade with live account you have to verify your phone number you have to verify your passport you have to verify your address uh, in order to uh, trade live okay now let's download our software so here I'm gonna click download and it will take you to download center so here uh, there are many options uh, in this case we're gonna use MetaTrader 4 so I'm gonna click MetaTrader 4 download save file click next and click finish and it will take you to myql5.com website uh, if you want to know more about the the software's backend and get to know with other users forums a lot of things are there and so let me close this one and you can see software is already started now we have to log into our account so we will use this information to log into our account so you need to select your correct account type so we created roboforex demo account not a demo pro a demo one so you select this one and go to next then you already have account so select existing trade account and copy this account number and 
paste here and you have to take your password and click finish so for your record see here so there's no connection so once you click finish if it's connect with the servers there should we see our connection see now it's connected now it's connected to the trading accounts okay okay so so this is our this is the meta trader for platform so so this is our meta trader platform uh, if you double click on this chart you can make it full screen and so you have several panels so this is market watch this is navigator this is terminal so this is a terminal shortcut if you click this one it disappears you can take it back this is a terminal and this is navigator this one and this is this market watch it's where you can see all the symbols uh, on all the currency pairs and like this so first uh, let me show you the terminal if you look at terminal uh, you can see there are many number of tabs likewise and this first tab which is called trade it's showing your initial deposit your current balance which is thousand dollar and if you go to exposure tab it's also showing uh, same kind of information and if you go to account history and uh, you can see your account history and your transactions your buy and sells in this case I have only one transaction which is my initial deposit of uh, demo thousand dollar okay and you have news alerts mailbox and uh, experts code base okay so it's better to uh, keep on this trade tab because it's showing all the trades which is going on okay so let me turn off terminal for a second and let me take back market watch so here you can see all the currency pairs uh, so you can see usd chf gbp usd euro usd usd jpy japanese yen then usd canadian dollar australian dollar usd okay. so if you want to take a ch any currency pair if you want to see the chart you just right click and click chart window then you can see AUD USD one hour chart see you can zoom in zoom out the chart like this and you have three chart types now selected one is bar charts you can select candlestick see 
now the the chart type change or you can select line chart so let's go with candlestick okay okay you can zoom in zoom out as well as uh, if you check here so at the moment there are five charts open one is euro usd second one is usd chf gbp usd usd jpy aud usd okay so if you want to close any chart you can right click on this chart name and close it right click close it right click close it right click close it likewise if you want to take it back just come to here chart window that's it okay if you double click here you can just drag this like this however you want it like this you click when you click on this icon it automatically rearrange or if you double click on it you can go back to full screen view double click full screen see very simple all right so let's see uh, what else we have here okay so i can zoom in zoom out and we have time frames monthly view if you go to monthly view you can check the chart till back 1998 so this is how gbp usd pair behaved you can see the gbp was going up and then gbp was going down likewise so this is a full view and you can go back to weekly view this is the weekly view you can see this is 2017 2014 2012 likewise then you can check the daily view so this is the daily view and if you zoom it you can see how the price was behaved okay and you can go to four hour view you can go to one hour view and 30 minutes view 15 minutes view five minutes and finally one minute so this is a one minute view so if you click on this icon you can take some space to this side this icon shift end of the chart so how to trade forex so that's the question right okay so as simple as it is if you think in future price going down you sell it now price is 1.2926 1.2926 you sell this point so if the price come down from this point you are taking profit likewise if you think the price going up you click buy so when the price goes up you take a profit okay so that's it that's the most simple way to do say that so let's do some let's do some try out so i'm gonna uh, reduce my lot size 0 0.1 and I think price is going down right so I'm just going to click sell uh, I have to press ok and I have to click again okay see now I have placed a sell trade you can see sell my trade amount is 0 0.10 that's the lot size now if we go to this terminal 
and on trade tab we can see our current live trade see this is the time we entered the type is sell trade so size is 0 0.1 and this is our currency pair which is GBP USD and this is my enterprise 1.2924 and we can see my uh, current profit is minus 0 0.80 okay so if the price come down I will be profit in I will be in profit if the price goes up I will be in loss okay okay uh, that's simple as it is so I can just click and drag this into uh, I can take this out like this uh, so I'm gonna zoom it a little bit see now the price is coming down and you can see I am profiting now my profit is 1.8 2 point see so it's coming down if it's coming down because I'm selling it so I'm taking profit so if it going up I will be losing so that's why Forex is a very risky market okay so you have to know what you are doing uh, before you entering with real money okay uh, and so, so you can see price is going down so that means I am profiting so so there uh, there's another thing called we can just I can just click and drag so that's my take profit level so if the price come to this area I will be profit and my trade will automatically close so as likewise I can set a stop stop loss area okay so as you know if the price is going up I will be taking a loss so I have to stop it at some point so this is my area I am saying okay that's enough stop it okay so TP stop loss okay I'm gonna close my trade I think three dollar is enough just you click on this cross and you see now my balance is thousand two point six one dollar and if you go to account history if you go to account history see this is my sell trade and it's showing all the details my profit and right click commissions this is the commission for the broker so my net profit might be 2.3 sorry 2.6 six one dollar yeah and so these are the details so okay okay so so there's a lot to learn if you are very new to forex trading and you have to know what lot size to use how to reduce how to increase it and why you should do it or why you you shouldn't and then what is what's the price what is the price meaning and how these prices works and what are the take profit stop losses and the methods and md4 advanced things and the concepts so there are a lot of things behind it but these are the basics so you have to get familiar with it and you have to know what you are doing especially if you're going to trade with live money i hope you learn something out of this tutorial and if you have comments kindly do that please ask any questions 
and if you are not subscribed to my channel please kindly do so and thank you very much let's meet on another tutorial